Hi, I'm Bruce Asher, and in this video, we're going to be introducing Cubase, looking at the various versions, and discussing a few things to get you started. Cubase comes in five different versions, but in this video, we'll be focusing on Cubase Pro. However, the features do apply to most of the versions, so it should allow you to try it out, whatever version you're using. So let's start by looking at the Download Assistant. So Cubase has the uh, Steinberg Download Assistant, the first point of impact. And here, this is where you can actually download the software, but also you can come back to it later on and actually use it to download extra content. And here you can see we have Cubase Pro 10.5 and all the various versions, including the full updates, the full version, and so on. So the first thing you'll see when you load up Cubase is the Steinberg Hub. And this is quite interesting because what you actually get is relevant news related to the software itself, uh, a list of new features. If you're actually looking to upgrade the software or you've upgraded the, to the latest version, you've got a quick start menu and there's various trials available to try out other bits of software. On the right hand side, you have recent files list and you have a bunch of templates which can actually get you started depending on the project type you're going to be working with. So on the right hand side, we have a list of recent files. We also have templates to get you started, including for recording, scoring, production and mastering. And here we load the recording setup. You can see there's one that has um, a bunch of uh, tracks already set up for you. So the top one here, 60 mono inputs, eight stereo inputs, and then we have various other ones, piano and vocal, stereo acoustic guitar, and so on. In the more tab over here, you'll see there's an empty template. I press create and it starts to load up Cubase. So in this window here, it asks you to choose the um, audio folder where you're going to store all the assets. So I've chosen this one here and I do select folder and you'll see that Cubase loads and you have a very basic setup window. Something to point out is that when you actually set up your audio and your MIDI, you will need to dip into this studio menu and actually look at studio setup. And here you have the option to choose your sound card, set up your MIDI ports and so on. We're not gonna be detailing that right at the moment, but just to know that that's where you dip into to actually get things started. Another important uh, piece of software which comes with Cubase, which allows you to manage the assets, is the Library Manager. And you have various tabs along the top, Halion, Groove Agent, Cubase, Nuendo, Pad Shop. We'll come back to these. These allow you to load presets and various other audio content related to Cubase. Having said that, if you set up Cubase and you just run the basic install, it should put everything in, in, in the right place and you'll be ready to run Cubase from scratch. So in this video, we looked at introducing Cubase with the various versions. We looked at the hub, the factory templates, and a quick overview of the audio MIDI setup. And we also mentioned the library manager.